Oh, ho, ho. Hey, first time I've heard you bark in a long time. Well, we've only had him three days. So Wrigley's being a little finicky about eating. So we thought if we pulled his food out and had Mr. Booger over here down. doing a little stare down, <laughs> that would inspire him to move a little faster. <laughs> okay. And it actually is working. I know this sounds scary, but it's, um, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's teaching Rowdy some boundaries, which he sorely needs. And Wrigley's actually eating much faster. And those white chunks in there are, uh, co it's coconut oil. And Rowdy's keeping a healthy distance. I don't know about healthy. It might not be healthy for his, uh... And Wrigley's eating. Kind of. Kind of. No, he's eating. And we're keeping a close eye on him. He's licking his chops, though. I'm not sure if he's thinking about eating Rowdy instead. Although, Wrigley's all bark and really no bite. Welcome to Vlog -a Day's Day 4! Woohoo! Shane has a com ouch. Shane has a confirmation retreat this morning, and Michael's gonna drive him up. It's about 40 minutes away, 36. And Ray Rowdy, oh my gosh, is going along for the ride. This is a medium-sized Sherpa. He's got about a week or so left in this, oh. maybe two, maybe a month, we'll see. But he's in here, this is how he got Solid home. We're gonna get, obviously, a larger Solid carrier for him. Solid. I think just a seatbelt thing, but Michael no, says no. And he has enough room to get up, turn around in here, believe it or not. You can kind of see, there's a foot. So he likes small spaces. There's a nose. He's, he's got a bully stick, stick in there. Stick. We reserve bully sticks for this, so he's he thinks it's cabin. awesome to be in there. And this is how we got home from Washington State on the plane. And um, he hops right in. But yeah, he can actually stand up, turn around, and... Uh, and remember, it's not a democracy. It's not a democracy. No, but we wouldn't, like, leave him in here for, you know, long periods of time. But anyway, that's how he goes in the car. It's safer to be in there than to let him roam free like we used to do with Bosley. So they're gonna go off. Shane's just going for the day. It's a whole overnight weekend, but with all the medicine and dietary restrictions, it's just easier to have Shane go up for the day. And since it's only 36 minutes away, not too bad. All right, guys, have fun. I'll see you when we get back, when you get back. And I am going to prepare to film for the first time with a puppy in the house. Uh, we're gonna do the $5 makeup challenge, so wish me luck. So, filming YouTube videos with the Weimaraner puppy. Did not get very far. I attempted to do the $5 makeup challenge. I got as far as putting on my foundation. I didn't even finish filming the foundation. And Rowdy and Mimi, actually Rowdy was fine. Mimi! Start decided now's the time I need to play with you and started chasing him full tilt. Almost knocked this whole thing over. Michael rescued the camera, almost plowed through the table of products over here. I don't want to give too much away. Ah! So Michael took them outside. They are racing around. It's freezing. It's not even 50 degrees. It's raining. I need to get this video done. I want to get this video done. It's not even Rowdy's fault, but it's Mimi, the little brat. I'm glad they're all getting along. Here they come. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna put him down for a nap in his cage, and Mimi was just gonna have to chill the freak out. I'm gonna murder her. I'm really not. It's kind of funny, but it's really hard to get anything done. And it may be that, oh, here she comes. And now Michael's chasing him around the backyard. This is hysterical. All I can, and I'm trying to film, like continue to film while they're outside and I just can't do it because all I can hear is, Rowdy, no, no, Rowdy, no. <laughs> he's hysterical and we're trying to run him until he drops and then he'll nap and then if he's not around, the Westies will chill. Fingers crossed. Uh, What's his name? Rowdy. <laughs> we all do it. Water first, okay? Whoa, 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 wait. Wait, 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 Rowdy. Rowdy, give Daddy a chance to put water in, sir. Don't we have to tell him W-I- Rowdy. 
I think we're supposed to tell him to wait. That's fine. The training just went out the window. That's okay. All right, now we go, man. Ready? Let's jump on in there. He knows. He does it really without any. You know attention. what? Since we've been feeding him in the crate, which is from the get-go, he loves the crate now. I know. It's a good deal. Most of these are like, wait, how come we don't get to eat three times a day? It to a positive and there he goes. Mmm, that's some good stuff. That's some high quality dry kibble. Oh, you oh, you know what, Wrigley, you do have your food. Because you never ate your breakfast. Go on in, dude. You didn't finish your breakfast, I should say. Yeah, it's in there. Eat it. Okay. The boys are eating. Mimi, you little glutton, you ate all your food this morning. Yes, you did. You're a good girl. All right, gotta put those sheets away before everybody jumped on the clean sheets. You'll notice that this is my seat cover. It used to be over there. Rowdy thinks it's one giant chew toy. We need to find a new home for it. And I switched out my coverlet, or my little decorative end of the bed thing for this. I got this, I don't know where I got this. I think I got it at Target last year. Target now has better ones that I like better. But Michael will not let me get a new one. We'll see about that. Hello. Had some visitors this afternoon. Didn't film any of that. Sorry. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I'm doing the mad scientist look. Hi, are you looking at me and wondering who I'm talking to? Rowdy's down there. He's going to have to learn what this vlogging thing is all about. Sometimes, Rowdy, Mommy talks to people who aren't here. Mommy's not crazy. She's vlogging. Uh, postman rang the doorbell. Let me go get some packages. So, I stand over here. Excuse me, holiday decorations. One package is expected from Colleen Rothschild. Let's see, today is Saturday. I ordered this on, was it Black Friday? I waited until like the last minute, or was it Thursday? Usually her shipping is even faster than this. Usually her shipping is like two days later, and it comes. But obviously they were a little overwhelmed. But it's free, so I'm not going to complain. Not the package, free shipping in this case. What did I order? It's not good when you can't even remember what you ordered. I ordered more face oil number nine yeah. and more complete eye cream. My life is complete. Whoa, uh-oh. Lovely tissue paper. Should probably save my receipt. Yes. Ooh, yes. Definitely spent a pretty penny. And then this is from Derma E. I think I'm on their press list. I must be. Hey, beautiful. Here are Derma E favorites available at Ulta. Hydrating night cream and firming eye lift. That's kind of funny because that's what this is. Um, this hydrating night cream has hyaluronic acid. And the eye lift has advanced peptides. Hmm. I don't know. And then it comes with this. What is this? What is this? It's a it's ethical, eco-ethical, cruelty-free, 100% vegan. But what is it? Some sort of bag? Is it a hat? I don't know. I don't know what it is. It has... It's as a purse. It's a satchel. I don't know. I will hold on to this. I have a whole drawer full of these things that eventually I test or give to friends or donate. Um, not sure. What I will do with that. So there you go. Thank you, Dharma E, for sending me those things. Do you like this? Let's get back to this. This is 
a glass jar full of balls in silver, glitter silver, matte blue, shiny blue, matte silver, white glitter, all kinds of tones. And then I have a LED string of lights on battery. I'm going to turn it off. I am reading your comments while I wait for the rowdy man back there to finish eating his dinner and then we're gonna take him out and then we're gonna go get some dinner for the grown-ups. I'm wearing a little bobble hat. I don't know if I'm digging this. I kinda look like I'm bald. I may change the hat. Anyway, I'm reading your comments. I'm trying to answer your comments and Zahn Pasta Cream Tube says, Marnie, would you keep rowdy when you're all out of the house? Mine is so afraid he would wanna be alone. So one of us always stays with him and I'm trying to answer you but when I go to hit reply, it just keeps doing that. So, um, we crate him, like we do the Westies, right there. Uh, it's highly recommended, it's been recommended for years. M most, if not all, dog trainers recommend crating your dog when you're not home, uh, for a lot of reasons. You have to make sure the crate is large enough for them to stand up and turn around in. That would not be humane to keep them like very, you know, penned in. It, the dogs have a natural denning instinct, so if they were a, a wolf or a coyote, they like to be in small caves and things like that. So this mimics that old wild instinct to be in a small place. It makes them feel more secure. And it keeps them out of mischief and trouble. And the Westies uh, still, when left to their own devices, will use my house as their own personal toilet but they will not do that in their crate. So that is why they recommend crate training puppies this way. They won't soil in their crate. Now, if the crate's too big, where it's big enough for them to poop or pee on one end and then move to the other end of the crate, they will. So that's why size is important, where it's big enough but not too big. It's kind of like a Goldilocks thing. And the other reason is, um, actually they recommend having a little sign or a little sticker on uh, the entrances to your house, letting emergency personnel know that you have animals crated and where those crates are so if there was a fire in your home that they would know where to come and rescue your dogs that's a whole long thing but anyway that is where we keep them when we leave the house this is not working for me okay so anyway that is the answer to zon pasta cream tubes question i hope that helped i did see one comment um i think it was on yesterday's that they were going to report us to the animal control authorities for abusing our animals for creating them my answer to you was, you've been blocked and deleted. That's my polite answer. I have something else I'd like to say to you, but this is, I'd like to keep it PG. Anyway, we're gonna go have some soup and enjoy a little time away from them. And uh, that's that, see you in a little bit. We are back from a less than satisfactory meal. I may upset some people, but I'm just gonna say, Neaters. It sucks. Michael. No, it sucks. I was gonna It's not meant for it, it's why meant for it. I was just going to say I prefer Panera. So much more. Anyway, we then went to H-E-B. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I love a chocolate covered Oreo cookie. It is not something I indulge in often. But when I do, I'm a happy, happy girl. Look what they have in the bakery case. This is decorated in our high school colors and in their emblem. How fancy is that? So I'm gonna have that, and then I found a gluten-free brownie mix that I'm gonna make real quickly, and then we're gonna get the... Oh, Michael stepped on the dog. Did you step on the dog? You okay? Yes, I did. All right, feedback. I packed the pedal right in. Is he okay? He's okay. I'm gonna go check on the dog, and then we're gonna go pick up Shane from his confirmation retreat. So good. All right, we are back from our little adventure. We picked up Shane from his retreat. We are home. It is a little after 11 o'clock at night. I have had this everything under on my face under $5 on for 14 hours or so. So it's not bad. Not great. I mean, the foundation's great. I know that. I don't love my eyeshadow. But it all held up pretty well. So not bad. Somebody's a little cranky pants. 
Anyway, I'm going to bed and I had a great day. I don't know what it is, day three, day four. I'm already losing track. Anyway, good night and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.